This boat is so cool. 360 degree views and we are fully protected. It just feels like you can cruise in most any weather. What's up guys? I've got a really cool little boat for you today. It's a 2008 Ranger Tug 25. Now, this is the biggest little boat that I've ever seen, so I think you guys are gonna like it. Quickly remember to like and subscribe if you're enjoying these videos. It helps us a lot, so thank you in advance, and without further ado, let's get to the tour. Look at this trawler, guys. I mean, it's on a trailer. It's got a bow thruster. It just looks awesome from the outside. It looks like it's gonna have a really cool interior. It does have kind of a hybrid planing hull there so it can get up and go a little bit faster than your standard trawlers. Really cool, look at that. For a 25 foot boat, you can tell there's gonna be a lot of accommodation on the interior of this boat. Let's go ahead and hop up and take a look. So I'm standing on the swim platform back here. You do have a door through the transom right here that goes out to the swim platform. Looks like you might be able to secure a small inflatable dinghy on the back here. Looking forward, here is the cockpit back here. Pretty roomy for the size. Lots of space to walk around. You've got kind of a fish cleaning station right here with a little cooler down there. Storage down below. Underneath the cockpit sole, we've got some storage. I think this is going to be engine access right here. Yep. So we've got a Yanmar diesel engine down below. Very nice. You won't see too many Yanmar diesel boats on a trailer. Before we head inside, I do want to check out, you know, what little Ford deck <laughs> there is. So there's a little area for you to walk along the side here. Now this would definitely be sketchy on the water because as you can see, there's just enough room for your foot. But this is a tug, it's a powerboat. There's no real need to go forward underway. You got your Bruce anchor on a anchor roller there and a horizontal windlass chain locker right here. Looking aft. This boat is so cool. It's just this little pocket cruiser. There's this tiny little instrument mast laying down on the side right here, I assume for trailering, just so that it's not too tall. Really nice, we've got a radar on that. We've got solar on the back right there and then a Thule cargo carrier right next to that for some extra storage. Really cool. All right guys, let's go ahead and go back to the cockpit. So there is a Bimini that goes over the cockpit as well. So we've got a bronze port on the starboard side here and then a large window on the port side here. And then your big door into the pilot house. That latches right there, latches open, heading inside. And this is so cool in here. So we've got 360 degree views and we are fully protected from any weather that might come at you. Really, really nice. We've got our helm station right here. Nice comfortable seat for when you're at the helm. All your instruments, everything you need right here. Sitting at the helm, this is your view. Again, just awesome.
Guys, I just want to stress how protected you feel in this pilot house, in this cabin cruiser here. Really, really nice. And this home station, it just feels like you can cruise in most any weather and be perfectly comfortable. And that's what I like to see in a cruiser, especially a pocket cruiser like this. Now going forward, again, this is only a 25 foot boat. So, you know, we've got a V-berth right here, just forward of the home station. So this is where you're gonna be, this is where you're gonna be sleeping. And the nice thing about the size of this boat and having the main berth right here is, you know, while someone's on watch and piloting the boat right there, you're never very far from them. So underneath the helm station, you've got a Norcold refrigerator right here. To port, we've got convertible seating for passengers right here. This can actually flip so that it faces backwards. So you can sit as a couple or a family or whatever, friends at this main eating area right here. And then you've got your galley just aft of the helm station with storage down below. This looks like it is a gas or electric cooktop. It's kind of cool. And then your sink right there. Storage down below. And then aft of the galley, we've got the head. And this is a wet head because, you know, there's not too, too much space in this boat, but it can definitely fit in a wet head. And then right here, it's being used as storage, but there is actually another berth down here. So it's hard to see, but there's another single berth where someone can sleep right here and it goes, goes underneath, you know, your feet go under there. So lots of accommodation squeezed out of this little footprint. All right, guys, as always, full continuous below decks walkthrough from bow to stern starting now. This one's not going to take very long. All right, now that was a really cool boat and I'm sure a lot of you guys probably agree. They packed so much accommodation into such a small boat and I think it's just a really great little trawler for a couple. It's really, you know, meant for coastal cruising, part-time cruising, staying overnight, staying maybe a few weeks or a few months on board. Now, I don't see this as a full-time live aboard, obviously. It's not really built for that, but it is a part-time cruiser and 
I think it really, really serves that purpose well. Now, I would probably compare this boat to kind of like an RV or a van on the water, but it's also pretty capable for coastal cruising and it has a hull that would allow it to get up on plane so you can either you know go slow and conserve fuel or get up on plane and move fairly quickly if you need to. I think this is a great little boat. Ranger tugs are definitely unique and I think this boat pretty much speaks for itself. As with all of these videos, the broker contact information as well as the current asking price is gonna be in the description below if you want more information or are potentially in the market to purchase this vessel. All right, so that's gonna be it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like, leave a comment down below, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that notification bell if you wanna know each and every time we drop a video. See you guys. I've got it right and I got it wrong But I learned my lesson